How close was it to you leaving Doctor Who that this role came up? Really close. We were having discussions about it um, whilst I was filming my exit and um, talking about kind of you know scripts and, and going forward and potentially this being this being the next thing. Um, so we started filming. I pretty much went straight into prep. Like wow. had to do straight into horse riding training. Waltz training, uh, voice coach, you know, so it was a bit of like a, a boot camp before we started. Oh my goodness, how long did uh, Waltz training take? That's interesting. Um, longer for the guys, <laughs> I think. Um, but it was like we had like big choreographed dances um, uh, that kind of like went through the stories as well. Um, and voice coach was probably, probably the longest. And trying to learn to play piano, that was impossible. What do you mean about the voice coach? What sort of things did they have to? Uh, is it is it RP that they make you do? Or I, I'm not I'm not sure. We don't have kind of. Monarch. It's yeah. it's kind of it's a bit more um, specific. It, it's kind of like trying to 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 get down her voice, I suppose, which is which is RP, but it's it's regal, but it's accessible and going between public and private. So it's quite a, a specific voice, I think. Wow, that's tough. Um, so how much research did you have to do? Did you um, read a lot of books? I didn't have to. You d I didn't really have to do any, it's all but in the script. Uh, yeah, it is. But there was. I mean, you kind of can't help it. She's got um, all of her diaries have been released. You know, there's there's so many biographies. Um, uh, she's got a sketchbook that she painted herself, um, going from like when she was really little, self portraits, photos of Albert. Um, she's she's pretty fascinating. So you kind of the page just keeps on turning, really. So tell me um, who the young Victoria is when we first meet her. What kind of a what kind of a, a young woman is she? She's not called Victoria to start with. She was called Drina. That was her. So initially, her parents called her uh, Drina, and that's what she was growing up knowing, like being known as. Um, but she's very um, she's very forthright, very vibrant, very spirited, tempestuous, um, young and inexperienced in lots of ways, but yet has this kind of this this vein of iron, this kind of stubbornness and uh, impatience I suppose which um, which is kind of why she ends up being kind of as great and as strong as she was but really flawed um, very very flawed but I love that about her it kind of is what makes her human but um, and funny I find her quite funny as well what, what, what did you find funny about her I love that she has the dolls in the first episode too yeah yeah she has well when actually when we meet her in the series we see a very very young because obviously we, because we don't start earlier than when she became queen. So the queen that we meet in episode one is is a very, you know, she's very naive. She's very, she's quite vulnerable. She she's un, un, you know, she's in this position which, which she hasn't quite owned yet and is trying to work her way through it, but very much by herself. Um, so during the series, we really kind of see her grow into the the queen Victoria, as as most people know, which is kind of more um, impatient and vivid and tempestuous.